Hello and welcome to Pro Football Central video podcast. I guess you can call us. Um, it's really a little quick little podcast because number one, I want to show you my face. Number two, I wanted to address a couple things. First thing I want to address is the Mark Trestman to Bears. We broke it. ProFootballCentral.com broke it. I don't care what anyone else says. Check the timeline. I posted it on Twitter. PFC Central. We broke it. Um, it's happened before with us when we break news. Just because we don't have uh, 6,000 million Twitter followers or you know the biggest site right now, um, we don't get respect and we don't get exposure. So that's going to change because the content is rolling in more and more and more. And we're doing a lot of content and more is to follow. Um, other thing, Chip Kelly, I got a couple uh, hate emails about me calling Chip Kelly a liar because he never really went out there and said it. His agent, David Dunn, said it. And if Chip Kelly is smart enough, he will get a better agent or let him speak for him. Because if the agent said it, I consider that Chip Kelly saying it. And trust is a big factor in a team sport. Mm. Trust is a big factor anywhere. And if you don't trust anybody, what do you have? Um, Chip Kelly met with the Browns for nine hours. He met with the Eagles for seven. And he said, I'm sticking to college. And that didn't happen. So you have to question his loyalty. And I did throw out there, one of the only, well, I am the only one to throw out there, that the Dallas Cowboys position in a year or so when that becomes available, look for coaches like Bill Cowher to come out of retirement wanting that position. But also look at Chip Kelly. Chip Kelly, we just found out, goes with the money. And if the Eagles are 2-14, and 14, I'm pretty sure Chip Kelly will make a good run at that position. He's also good friends with Bill Belichick. Um, Josh McDaniels hasn't been promised a position of head coach when Belichick retires. Patriots fans are crying here and that. I know that because I live in New England, and that's something that could very much happen in the next couple of years. He's 60 years old. How many years does Bill Belichick have left is a big question. That Probably going to do a video cast or a podcast with a Patriots reporter and talk to them about that, um, and as well as the AFC Championship Series and the Ravens and all that as well. So that concludes the video cast. Um, I just wanted to get it out there that um, it's big to trust who you have and on your team. And if you're if you're potential if Chip Kelly wasn't committal from day one, you gotta question him. You know, he went with the money. They offered him more money. They offered him more say in personnel. He has the final say. And they also told him that Michael Vick will remain a Philadelphia Eagle. Something they did not promise him the first time because of that fifteen point five million option. So that leaves two other teams with head coaching candidates, and they are the Arizona Cardinals. I'm here in Ray Horton. Um, Schottenheimer is a good choice as well, Brian Schottenheimer, but I'm still here in Ray Horton. Um, I don't think, I, I, you know, their GM is reportedly like making it's like $6 an hour. <laughs> so it tells you that um, they don't want to overpay. And um, Ray Horton is someone who isn't a household name, so he's not going to ask for Chip Kelly money. Um, so I think the Arizona Cardinals will get a good bargain for him after one year and he goes to the playoffs and it's agent will probably ask for more money, of course. Um, other other is Jacksonville Jaguars. Brian Schottenheimer's name is being brought up as well. Um, Ken Wisenhunt is a name that keeps surfacing. He's been in there once for an interview. I think he's still in town for the second one. Look out for Ken Wisenhunt's name to be a big name in Jacksonville. Um, there are definitely, you know, uh, other candidates, but those are the two ones that really stand out. Um, I should do another either podcast or a video blog tomorrow. I might do both like I did today. We are going to load ProFootballCentral.com with content to the point where you don't have a choice but to bookmark us. Follow us on Twitter, PFC Central, for all the latest breaking news that we get that happened before Jay Glazer and anyone else reports it. Um, I've been dealing with this since 2008 where I've been reporting stories that have been ripped off by Len Pascarelli and so forth. I'm not afraid to go out there and call people out. And you're going to find out with me and my staff and all the video blogs we're going to have soon with players. 
um, and you're going to realize that we are unique and we're going to stand out and we're owned by me with a messy room in the background. So that can tell you that we, we, we don't answer anybody. Um, and we look forward to entertaining you all and giving you guys the latest and best news and content. Again, this is Brian Harrington from ProFootballCentral.com.